Hello, you are very welcome to the Mastermind channel. I'm so glad to be here with you again. Today, we still continue to talk about depression. But if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. In the last two videos, I gave some general considerations about depression. I talked about some symptoms of depression and some risk factors in order to act in a more preventively way. Today, I'm going to give some um, precautions that can help the people who are suffering with uh, some symptoms of depression. So, there are many things that you can do. For instance, you can uh, write a list of the motives that make you feel uh, sad and uh, try to understand why. Also, it's very important to share what your feelings are. If it's uh, anger or frustration or anxiety. And for that, choose something that uh, you, you want to say, you really want to verbalize. And um, you find someone of your trust to do that. Don't, don't just talk with anybody. Um, choose a close friend or a family member. The other thing that it's very helpful is to do physical exercise because physical exercise it's like a natural antidepressant and uh, it lowers your anxiety levels and it um, makes your self-esteem uh, increase so it gives you that general uh, well-being and um, also it's very important to have uh, healthy food uh, don't have um, junk food as um, sugar and fatty uh, food like junk food like uh, french fries and things like that and substitute with um, fruits and vegetables and uh, meat lean meat and as like chicken and turkey and fish eggs and so on uh, the other thing that it's good is to have a good night's sleep, okay? It's very important. For those who have insomnia, there are some, um, some breathing exercises that can help you to relax and have a good night's sleep. And for those who have uh, too much sleep, the question of uh, routines also might help. Also, in this uh, pandemic situation that we're living, it's very important that we keep our routines, okay? So uh, make sure you keep your routines and the, the self-care, um, uh, it's very important as well. The other thing that you can do is to um, appreciate nature, okay? Go for a walk and really enjoy it, enjoy the moments. Look at nature and stop to contemplate. Contemplate the sunset or the ocean, uh, even if it's just a flower, but be in the moment, be present in the moment. The other thing that it's good to do and it can help is to get a hobby, get something that you used to do and, or something new that is fun, that you like to do, that you can discover new things. Also, uh, Volunteering can be very rewarding and it will make you feel good as well um, because when we're helping someone, we're helping ourselves. Um, such as getting a pet. If you get a pet, you have an animal to take care and you can play with, with the animal and it's lots of fun. So it's for those who like pets. It's, uh, it's good also to get a pet. Um, it's good to avoid alcohol and caffeine for obvious reasons. And um, also it's, it's good if you can get a, a, um, a piece of paper every day and write down a positive statement of yourself or a positive idea 
of something that you've done or something you aim to do. And um, it's, it's okay to feel sad once a while sometimes, but if uh, these um, symptoms of depression, if they last too long and if they are very frequent and very intense, it might be a good idea to think about um, finding some help with a psychologist. So today we are uh, finishing. I hope you liked the video. If you liked it, leave your like and forward it to your contacts. So until the next video, I'm counting on you.